Hi everyone, welcome to the beautiful Yarra Valley for the 2023 Caravan of the Year Awards, sponsored by MSA 4x4 Accessories. Behind me is the Wombat by Highline Caravans, a 13 foot 6 pocket rocket that's fully off-road. Let's go and take a look. The cutest van at this year's event has to be the Wombat and it also has the most fun name. It's only 13 foot so it's tiny but that's appealing. These are the kinds of vans that you used to see day in day out. They've been surpassed by big 18 and 19 foot vans but this 13 it's a couples van with split bed. Again something we haven't seen in a while but I think there are more buyers out there looking for vans like this than a lot of people realise. I loved the Wombat by Highline. This was a little pocket rocket. At just $79,990, this is a 13 foot 6 inch fully off-road van and it was as cute as a button. It has all the creature comforts. As I said, it's fully off-road, but it has everything that you would expect to be able to go off-road for long periods of time, but in a tiny little easy to tow, easy to manoeuvre package that you'll be able to get into most places, including caravan parks if that's your thing, or down the narrowest dirt tracks. It will really go anywhere and you won't have to worry about the size of the van. Um, you could, you know, pull into the local supermarket car park with it, no problems. It really is a great little van. In the last year or so, Vlad switched to a CNC cut a marine ply frame, moving away from Maranti into a, something that's a bit more durable and stale. It's great to see it. It's covered in a sheet of aluminium composite, really well sealed, and uh, I think the uh, attention to detail has shown this year with the improvements that he's made. The, the furniture inside also looks to be improved. It's, I think, really well finished. Uh, fit and finish on the uh, cupboard doors is great. He uses quality hardware, quality hinges, quality runners that make a difference, I think, over, over a long period of time when everything works properly. A little uh, feature inside the combi shower and toilet is the curtain that goes across to keep the toilet dry when you're having a shower. And that can be a, a game changer for a lot of people who think that they're going to get the, the toilet seat wet when they're having a shower. So little things like that, they all make a difference and I think great to see Lad back and improving the van every year, year on year. Tying the Wombat is certainly very easy, I have to say. It has an ATM of 2,800 kilos and a tear mass of just 1980 and with 140 on the ball. Our tow vehicle was a Toyota Fortuna, which is a slightly unusual tow vehicle, but it handled the van without a problem at all. And that also means that any vehicle, any of the dual cab utes will be just a breeze for this van. In terms of handling the van, it just stayed in a straight line behind the tow vehicle. It didn't wander at all. And it's just, just a pleasure to tow. And that's, I think that's part of caravanning when your van you're towing, it's just so easy. Being a split bed couples van has a certain appeal. It's looking for probably an older couple who are happy for a little bit of space and quiet in their own bed and the ability to get up and go to the bathroom with peace and quiet and not disturbing their partner. There's only 13 foot six to play with on the roof of the Wombat, but even so you get two 210 watt solar panels and a couple of 110 uh, batteries. So really there's enough with the co compressor fridge there to keep you going in the bush. It's not endless, but it's sensible. Twin 95 litre water tanks, That'll be enough to keep you supplied with drinking water. Just take it easy on the shower or camp near a creek and you'll be, you'll be right for water even. It's an ideal van for a couple that don't want a big van. It has all the essential comforts, including off-road capability, but it's just, just a small van. Makes it very easy when you're on the road. From a user's point of view, the beds can double as lounges without any trouble at all. And certainly, from my point of view, it's a very flexible layout. The X factor for me was the compact size of the Wombat. Uh, you don't see many vans of that size these days. It's a twin singles van, so it, it could be suitable for couples or friends or whoever. Um, but it's certainly compact, affordable, gives you everything you need uh, to enjoy off-grid caravanning or just touring on the blacktop. Um, it, it was a nice, a nice little package. I liked the Wombat. So customer care, you've got a three-year 
warranty on the structure of the caravan and normal warranty on all the appliances. They've improved access to warranty with a full-time staff in office and five dealers around the state, as well as a network of repair agents to get the things fixed that go wrong. The innovations in the Wombat has to be the fact that it's an old school style caravan that's been bought into the 21st century. It has lots of solar, lots of battery power, decent water, and it is fully off-road ready. But again, it's a twin singles bed, so designed for an older couple looking for a bit of individual peace and quiet. But this one with specs you'd expect of a high-end new van.